Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. These are mods for Tuesday the 10th of November. This is being posted on Wednesday the 11th. Apologies for the delay. Um, I had a bit of a fall yesterday, taking the dog out, slipped on the deck outside in the back garden, went down hard and all down my left side. I, I, this morning I feel like I've been hit by a train, but um, I didn't do a mod review yesterday. Apologies. So I'm doing it now, and there may well be then another one later on today if mods drop this afternoon. Um, we do have some updates, quite a few actually. The updates are as follows. From top left, the placeable TMR silo by ER Shabba VSR Modding Sur. The M402 disc harrow by Mr. Dynamite88 and Theroxy. The modern cow's bun by Mephew FS. The red brick garage by Mikhail LS. The concrete bunker set V by Castor and DS Agro Service. The random dumper by Eric Isaac Agro Mods. The Agco high density baler by LDM Studio. The Horsch Pronto 6AS and the Maestro um, by Agrotechnic Nordifel, The placeable steel silo by ER Shabba VSR Modding Sur. And the concrete shed by Mikhail LS have all had updates today. And so, on with the mods. In front of us we have got the CT600. This is a liquid transport trailer. This is by FBR Modding. They will use nine slots for the first one, and then any subsequent ones after that, the slot count will drop on console. 4.42 megabytes to download. 6,500 litre capacity. And you can have, um, when you go into the options, there is one, and then you have the option to switch and choose which what you want to put into it so we have a water one we've got one for milk there's one for fuel there's one for liquid fertilizer and there's one for herbicide nicely made nicely detailed swivel uh, front axle there's no options on color and there's no options on tire choice or anything like that you pretty much get what you get these you will find under tools i think they were miscellaneous I'm pretty sure it's miscellaneous there we go, CT6500, that's weird, why has it got 600 written down on the website and 60, well, just a typo, one of those things, sorry, CT6500, I said 600. Um, like I say, um, nine slots for the first one, then drops down to one, 15,800 to buy, and this is where you can change your options, and it changes the actual uh, pitch on the front, so water, milk, diesel, liquid fertilizer and herbicide there you go very nice indeed moving on from there we've got this this is the Cultisem 4000 this is by Rafiki uh, it's four slots on console 6.2 megabyte to download it is a cultivator but it does have the ability to put cover crop down at the same time Although it doesn't have a tank of its own, so you do then need to have a front tank that will take seed. Um, it does give a couple of options um, when you look at it in the menu. Um, nicely made, four metres wide, under cultivators. There we go, right at the very end. 12,500 to buy. It does say Agco 1100 or TF 1500. I have got the... Oh, my mind's gone blank. We'll have a look in just a second. There are options available. You get it with the yellow, and as it is, requires 160 horsepower. It will run at 7 miles per hour. I just looked at it, done it again. Oh, the value stat FH2200. I prefer this one because the capacity is a little bit larger for taking seed. If you want a front tank like that, uh, I think this one's under planters, is where I normally get it from. And the planters, there's the lemkin, which will also hold seed, um, but the FH2200 is 2,200 litres for only 8 grand. That's generally why I kind of go for that one. The reason it gives you options to um, which tank you pick is because it will do the pipe hookup, but it does actually work with this one as well. So once we hook it up, the pipe will hook up around the side. So the seed will flow from the front tank to the rear tank, not by osmosis or by magic, but it will go down the actual pipe itself. I've got it set on grass, but I can change it if I use my side panel. 
oilseed radish or grass so you can use either as a cover crop grass is often a good one as a cover crop not a lot of people tend to use it they tend to go for oilseed radish but grass will work just as well turn it on drop it down and away we go because it's a cultivator no prior cultivating or ploughing is required because it's cultivating as it goes so technically a cedar but obviously it will only do all seed radish or grass it won't do all seed types it is designed to put in a cover crop so there we go that's the Cultisem 4000 by Rafiki very nice indeed uh, next up we have got this this is the Babolna B215 grain silo it's a big old unit this really nicely detailed I like all the all the sort of the texturing and all the kind of wear on the paint and stuff like that you know it's well used it's a well used grain silo I thing I like about this um, is at night automatically lights come on we've got lights over the actual tip um, uh, container I'm having a nightmare today. Pit is the word I'm looking for. Pit. Um, there's lights around this section here and lights around th this building here. Uh, I like that, that it lights up. Not all the buildings do at night now. A lot of the BJs don't and that kind of thing. Now, weirdly, on the website, this says it's a 400,000 litre capacity. When you come to down or buy it and put it in place, it says 200,000 litres. So I thought I'd better check, and it is 200,000 litres. Whether it's supposed to be 400,000, I don't know, but it's definitely 200,000 at the moment. So that's your pit for tipping in. Your collection is from here. That's fairly narrow and not too high, but looking at it, I think you're going to get most trailers under there. I don't see why. I'm just thinking of the idea liner is probably one of the taller trailers we have in-game, on console anyway possibly stuff on IT runners maybe might struggle to get under there but there you go 200,000 litres capacity um, it will take your main crop types so it will do wheat, barley, oats, canola sunflower, soybean and corn this you'll find under placeables, under silos. There you go. Two hundred thousand to buy. Um, did I say how many slots it was? No, I didn't. Did I? Twenty-two slots to down uh, to on console. Sixteen point five nine megabytes to download that as well. And there you go. Probably need to get out of that. So there you go, that's the Babolna B115, I think I said two earlier, B115 grain silo by FSH Modding and Unorby. I'm having a nightmare today, I think I missed off the, the name of the mod at the start as well. Apologies, but that's who it's by, FSH Modding Unorby. Next, we have got an old favourite. We might have already had a modded one of these before, I'm trying to think. Um, this is the New Holland TC5 series this is by db modding 18.97 megabytes to download 14 slots for the harvester eight slots for the header it's very nice this one quite a few options available on it we've got some color choices for rims we've got color choices for the actual main vehicle itself uh six thousand nine hundred we'll have a look anyway in a second but yeah Nicely detailed. The header has an adjustable reel, as most of the headers do now. Do have an option on lights as well on this, on the lighting package, which is very nice too, as you can see. Got these lights around here, so we've got a 360 degree package available if you want it. And one on the um, pipe if you want that as well. So, this you'll find. Under vehicles, under harvesters, the TC5 series. 140,000 for the base model, 6,400 litre capacity, not 6,900. So we can change the main colour from st sort of a, a more standard New Holland yellow to a sort of more darker sort of egg yolk yellow to a lighter, more faded yellow. And you can even have it in black if you want to have it in black. I think I went for the lighter one. Rim colour, we've got white, 
white, chrome and chrome, but I think the next white looks more like a metallic -y white, a lighter sort of aluminium sort of. And then the chromes, hang on. That looks more like galvanised, I think. And that one's more of a, just a standard rim. But I like the, the more metallic -y ones, they look quite good. Uh, then we've got the option of the, let's go through, because I think I clicked it by accident. Oh no. We've got the TC570 at 175 horsepower, the TC580 at 227 horsepower, the TC590 at 258 horsepower, and then back to the TC570. I've often found, I mean, it depends, it depends how hilly the terrain is you're working on. Generally speaking, lower horsepower harvesters work just as well. It's got to be really, really hilly for it to struggle. Um, but again, horsepower requirement is your prerogative, however you want to go for it. We've got the option of Trelleborg, Mitis and Michelins. With Trelleborg, we can have it narrows, standards or wides. Mitis is just standard with wides and Michelin we've got standard or wide. There's no uh, narrow option on that. And when I say narrow, again, be careful on that. I mean, it doesn't really matter because you're going to be harvesting crops anyway. You wouldn't want to be driving across a crop unless you're harvesting it. Sometimes it says narrow tyres, but it's not actually row crops. Um, so I just think that just means it's a narrower tyre. than. You know. Anyway, and then design. We've got standard. We've got pipe lighting. I do like having a, a light on the pipe, a light for the pipe. That puts the light up there on the side of the um, vehicle. So when the pipe opens up, it lights up around it. I like that. And then you can go for 360, which leaves the pipe lighting there and adds the extra ones around the sides as well. Although weirdly, the lights are there already. And when you put it on, the pipe goes on. And 360, does it actually add any other lights in? Looks like they're there already, aren't they? Maybe just they're not functional, but anyway, yeah. So you can have 360 degree lighting, which is what I went for. So, opening and closing of the Harvester L1 NX. Pipe out. Nice smooth animations. Beacons, you've got one that side and one slightly forward on the other side as well. Horn, I know people like the horn. Lights, standard, rear, main and all the way round. I do like the 360 degree, that's nice that. We'll have a look at the header in just a second. But the header reel, L1 and right stick up and down, raises and lowers the header, and you can bring it in and out if you want to. Again, that's generally speaking purely aesthetic, it doesn't serve any particular uh, function. I know people swear blind, it will give you better um, yield and it will give you more crop and stuff. I have never found that at all, but yeah. it's on there. In cab. Nicely detailed. The camera is slaved to the seat, so you get that kind of seat suspension as you drive, rather than everything bouncing around you and you sitting static. You bounce around on the seat, which I like that. I'm surprised that a lot of the standard stuff doesn't have that already, but that's very nice indeed. So the header you'll find under headers. There's no header trailer that comes with this pack. Um, the header you'll find under tools, under headers. There you go, very feed, 18 foot, 35,000 to buy, um, 8 slots, 5.5 metre width. You can change the colour option to match your harvester, like so. And that's that. The New Holland TC5 series by DB Modding. 
Very nice. Which brings me on to the last of the mods for today. These This comes under the quirky category. We have, we're getting quite a few of these quirky mods. Um, well, we've had them scattered across as mods have been released anyway, but I think what we're going to start doing as I do mod reviews, we're going to have you know, the farming mods, then the kind of more quirky mods. These definitely come under the, the quirky mods category. Um, this is the RGB Lighted Tree Planter Box Pack by Dash Modding. These will run at five, six or seven slots, depending on which one, but no more than that. 8.38 megabyte download. Um, we have the option on these. Once they're placed, they're placed with a wood box. If I come around the back and open my menu, using my side panel, that's how I'm doing it without going into the main menu. If I press circle, you can have concrete or wood. It places as a wood planter box, but you can have concrete if you want to. When we come around to the front, you don't have to have these lit up. So what I will do, is um, let's hide green and hide blue. So you can have it as a standard tree in a planter box if you want to. Now, these don't cut these down. If you want to get rid of them, you sell them. Don't cut them down because that will cause all sorts of problems. It does say very specifically on the website, don't do that. Now, options available on this. We have got on L1, show green. So we've got the green one. and then hide green. On R1, we've got show blue or hide blue. On the standard, without pressing anything, we can do with circle, show red or hide red. And then what you can do is combinations of. So if I show red, then R1 and show blue, you get that. So it's that mixing primary colors type thing, really. What I can do, I wonder if it'll let me do it as well. Show green as well. You kind of get a very light one. What I'll do is let's take the red off. And you get that kind of turquoisey colour. And if we hide green, we go back to blue. Did that one. I'm trying to think of the combinations I haven't done. Show green and show red. You get that kind of yellowy. I can't work out to get the white. On the, on the website picture it shows a white one. I'm trying to work out what combination I need to do to get the white. Show blue. Show green. No, it gives me the turquoise. But anyway, in each of those you can go through those options. So you can now either have it of just green, just blue, just red, or combinations to get the sort of turquoisey green. You can get that nice kind of purpley lilac um, if you want to. And like I say, at night time, they look like fireworks. That one especially. In the darkness, you've got this bright kind of bloom of colour. Looks like a firework. Yes, it is quirky. Yes, it's not farming related. I totally understand that. I know a lot of people get quite annoyed about the non-farming related mods. But it's a mod. It's been released. I'm looking at it. Um, I'm going to have to have fiddle around and try and work out how to get the white light on that one. Uh, these you will find. Under placeables. Under decoration. And there we go. So we've got the RGB lighted birch tree planter box. We've got the RGB lighted palm tree, the maple tree, the pine tree, spruce tree, and the volume tree. I think I put them in order from right to left, I think was how I did it. These are all shown as one slot because I've got one of each placed already. Um, placing is the same as any other mod. Put it down, rotate it. As long as you get green, you'll be absolutely fine. Once it's in place, put it down. Like I say, it places with the wood box. And if you want it as a concrete, come around behind. And you can have it as a concrete box if you want to. And like I say, you don't have to have them coloured. You can just leave them like that and have a, a tree and a planter box to decorate your farm if you want to. That's in up to you. Um, so there you go. That's it. That's the mods for the 10th of November. There may well be some more mods released later on today and tomorrow it's tomorrow isn't it? Yes, the 12th the Alpine expansion releases so that will be out tomorrow. Season pass it's free 
uh, I think it's 19.99 euros to download. I'm not sure what that converts to across other um, currencies in different parts of the world, um, but that's what the website was saying until it kind of crashed on me. Um, I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, thanks for watching.